What's up, boys? Hey, guys. Welcome to right. uh, episode seven of our Indiana football podcast, bye week. So I know y'all didn't watch the Hoosiers. What y'all get into? No, no, no. I did watch them. They played. They ain't playing? Nah, they ain't play. Oh, all right, bad, my bad. You trying to be a smart ass, huh? But you know who did play? Oh, Michigan. <laughs> you know what they look like? Good. Uh, hey, <laughs> we might lose by forty. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. We might lose by forty. Yeah, I mean, man. I, you they think were, we got a, like? You think we got even like the slightest chance to win? I mean, if the offense come out swinging and just put numbers on the board, because, man, they, they're they dangerous in all three categories. If, I ain't going to lie to you. If the offense do what? I mean, hey, I'm hoping the, the, the new coaches, the the new ones we just brought in as well, they get it together in this past week. We got what, – what's today? Is Monday? We got until Saturday. Won't happen. 12 o'clock prime time. Won't happen. Michigan. They play at Michigan? Is it at Michigan? I think it's home. Yeah. Is that yeah, Michigan? That Michigan. Oof, there that's a different stuff. atmosphere too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out Fox for just putting us in the big noon game <laughs> after after we get got. Why they did that though? Why they did that? So it can be a layup. No, nah, I'm just joking. I ain't gonna talk about my Hoosiers like that, man. Stop right. playing. <laughs> Stop leading me into statements like that, Shane. I ain't gonna tell you again. My bad. We're thirty-four nah, and a half point underdogs, by the way. We so. what? Shane, you did say 40. Four. I mean, if I'm a better, I mean, is that a risk to say that the Hoosiers can cover 35? Hey, if we can't cover 35 points, we, only, we, we need to cancel the rest of the season. <laughs> Bro, that's the thing. We still got, we still got more than halfway to go. Bro, yeah. if we can't cover 35? I mean, how many touchdowns is that? So? You saying that like it's mm-hmm. it's not like we're not playing Michigan either though. I mean, man, Bro, what, Mason 35? Mason Graham on uh, uh, Michigan's D line. Yeah, he, he that he should know. be their biggest yeah, focus Mason. on the O line. Man, he was all over, all over the quarterback uh, against Minnesota. Dude, look, and he had like a claw too or a little hook or something. His full hand wasn't out there, so it made him look even more badass. Yeah, he had surgery two weeks ago. Oh yeah, he's he playing already. Different. He's playing already, <laughs> yeah. yeah. X-ray shows he has that we need dog to, we need in him. Leave him alone, yeah. Leave him alone. Yeah, I mean, so I, I think, uh, you know, we can uh, dive into the X's and O's of this thing. What are we – we don't get to see them play this week. We know what's going on with the, the, uh, the staff change, um, and then they added additional members to it as well. So, uh, what are we expecting from the, the offense and defense after this bye week? Well, I'm not expecting much to change. We still have – they announced Taven's going to be the starter, which surprised me and I think others Wasn't he well. already the starter? Or no? Yeah, yeah but they, last game, Shane, uh, I think towards the end, they yeah. put in uh, Soresby. And yeah, he went and in there played, and, and, and he was slinging that thing. I'm trying to tell you. we. I, I stopped watching. I ain't going to lie to you. It hurt your feelings. I be I be pissed, bro. I'd really be mad. Yeah, I mean I would be too, yeah. especially a, a receiver. It's, I mean they still uh, eating though at the at the, on the receiver side. It's just not yeah. making those those key plays that we need. Those third downs, like those what? fourth down conversions. I mean, like there's a couple. I think there's been two games where we kind of we've had it in our hand to either tie it or even to to, to take the lead, and we. We we couldn't get it. We couldn't get the ball in the end Shit zone. Down our leg. <laughs> yeah, I, like yeah. Louis, the the. I think about it now from because I, I saw a little clip of uh I think Louisville won this past weekend, didn't they? Yes, sir. And they're they're playing at a high level, and you see who they're going up against as well. Who, who do they play against? Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame. And we were twenty one twenty eight, and we had the ball on the the one yard line. Or the two yard line. How do we not tie that game? Go to over. You I, know. I could talk, I could talk to Bro, that's time. what I was trying to explain to y'all. Yeah. See, I look at one and two or two plays the past couple seasons where the program can just be completely changed, right? Yeah. Like it, it just sucks, man. And I don't, I don't believe in curses, but something's think, not right with this. What? You think we cursed? You think something going Bro. on? 
Hey, I won't say it's a curse. I would say it's the lack of just winning, man. When you win, everything changes. When you win, you get you get top prospects that want to come to your school. You get the big TV games. You get the hype. You get all that all part of momentum. Like even still, like for example, like Colorado started off hot, lost their you know couple games, and then they they won the last one that they just recently yeah, played to Arizona State. Yeah. It was a terrible game, but still with all that hype, all the the, the wins they did provide, and then. The platform and how they they're utilizing that they're just riding the momentum and that brings players there. I want to go play there. Like we it's need well. that at IU. Like we need that like aspect. Like the basketball program gets top players and it's for a reason. And it's I think it it, it has to go beyond the coaches as well. It has to be a full group effort. Whether it's you know what I mean. Like I just feel like there needs some, some kind of more promotion. They got to score. They got to start putting up points if that's if yeah. that's the case. Exactly. And yeah. that's all it is to it. You got to win ball games. That's so weird. I won't say it's no curse. Talk. I would say it's a lack of winning. I, I, th- I would say it's a lack of winning, but as you've stated, Shane, like, we, we can't do nothing right on offense. Yeah. And let's say we do something right, you know, like. <laughs> as we it, do. They ain't going to call that play again. I can tell you that. What are the expectations? There are none. Yeah, I'm expecting be. with the new coaches and the new staff, they 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 see how the season's going already, and there's no there's not much time for like, okay, let's let's get these guys ready, and and prepare them slowly. It's full takeoff, so I'm hoping that they've been watching and kind of expecting maybe this to happen, and already have a game plan in place. Like, okay. you, you know what I mean? That's what I'm I'm expecting, and I hope it's that case because we don't need to see any more. Testing between the quarterbacks, either pick a quarterback who you think is going to stand in there and get the job done. Um, we know about our skill guys. So, I mean, we can always look at these coaches' last jobs and how they, they ran that offense. But then again, we have different weapons than he had in that previous offense. So, I'm hoping they come out firing and and understand that this is Michigan. And if they watch anything of last week, it ain't going to be no – if. You know, third down, you can't you can't get a conversion. Fourth down, fourth and short, you can't get a conversion. It's gonna be a long game if that if that's the case. Yeah. Hey, what are we expecting from the new uh, offensive coordinator though? Uh, where 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 did he come from? He he been around. The the new the new guy I know the intern uh, he came from Virginia Tech. Um, who was the 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 new coach they hired as the offense coordinator? So Rod Carey was uh, the intern for about a week, and then they officially announced that he's full time. Mm-hmm. He's been he's been in the program uh, for a while. He played center back here in the day. He played center. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be running the ball. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Allen talked about it today. If they're still gonna be a running team, and it was interesting because. He didn't. He he didn't really make it clear, but it seems like we're still gonna. Does the the yeah. running scheme from a new coach change the ultimate like level of? I won't say they're unskilled, but like, does it change the level of skill when it comes to the O line? Like, even still, like with us running with the amount of times we did and having little success, I just didn't see like them being hogs out there, like them taking control of that, them you know protecting the pot. You know, is like does that change because you get a new coach? I feel like the slate clean right now. Coach, put me in. I'm ready right now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's your time to it's your time to kind of make an impression. Got to be, bro. You you got to. It's a new coach. Like he don't, I mean, he might know what you could do, but like you got to show him what you could do. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely been there. He's been watching for what the past how how, how many years has he been on the staff? Uh so he's the former he used to before Indiana, he coached at Temple mm-hmm. um, for a couple of years. I went back and watched Temple played Maryland in 2019. Upset what was him. The score? For real? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he was the offensive coordinator. Right? No, he was the head coach. Then um, uh, Shane, then uh, Keith Kirkwood play for Temple. Yeah, Keith Kirkwood. Yup, yup. We might have right. somebody, y'all. We might have. We might. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, he, what the what what he was running was different than. Uh, <laughs> what we were running, which was doo doo, but <laughs> which I was running. Uh, they 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 had a they had a couple of 
Um, you know the play they the Chiefs often run to Kelsey in the goal line with the tight end uh, flick. Oh, uh, running yeah. up the middle. Yeah, where he fakes blocking and then takes the little sh- the little oh, shovel pass. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 short shovel pass. Yeah. They were running screens, uh, yeah, which we haven't been. I ain't saw a screen, like a a real receiver screen. I ain't saw that. Yeah, yeah. I love those things. Yeah, for real. For real, we need to start running some screens because. It's another form of the running game. If anything, it's going to help. Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all can hear me chewing on this gum? Nah. Oh, no. Nah, you're good. It tastes good or something? Breast stank as fuck, boy. Yeah, I bet. I can I can tell in the camera, honestly. It look like you can brush your teeth. <laughs> but um, yeah, let, let's transition more into who we want to see play. Uh, these next, you know, couple games or, um. Or yeah, I mean, it, yeah, Aside well, from I, the expectations, like what I if so since Taven is the starter, what I want to see from him is him learn from his previous mistakes from the past game so watching Michigan um they'll they'll mix it up with the man or the zone and what they'll do is with I feel like the Minnesota quarterback they knew that once they got that they would have a better opportunity in that zone defense because usually inexperienced quarterbacks stare at their guys who they want and Michigan was just picking Minnesota apart I think they had two pick sixes maybe three picks but I know it for sure two pick sixes, and all they did was hop into zone, watch the QB's eyes, and it was it was there. So I'm hoping that he he goes through his progression, you know, takes his normal drop back and 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 actually reads the defense because um, also watching Michigan, JJ McCarthy, he was out there, you know, calling out the blitzes, uh, shifting the protection, and some of the times when he shipped those protections, he was getting touchdowns. So like. You can tell the difference in the level of experience between the two quarterbacks. So it's not like I'm truly comparing them. I'm just hoping that, like, if anything, he can mimic JJ's game when it comes to breaking down the defense and understanding his where his route's going to be open at based on the coverage he's seeing, rather than picking one target and going with it because that's not going to fly, especially with that defensive line coming after you. Those cornerback or those defensive backs are just gonna sit back in zone and watch my eyes, expect it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. He, he got to get that ball out, read his normal his progressions, and, and and go with it. Yeah. So as far as what we're gonna be running on offense, I and Kerry alluded to it on Friday or uh, last last uh, Wednesday, I believe. So. He, his philosophy is he wants to scrap all the plays that didn't work and he still wants to use the plays that were working. But what wasn't really clear was whether he's going to implement, you know, a whole new offense, which, I mean, is unreasonable to expect for this game up on Saturday. But I think, I think um, at the quarterback position specifically is – and this is what is not making sense to me at all. And this is why we get a reputation like we do, is we have a guy like Dexter Williams who I was rooting for to start before last season because of the offensive line, poor offensive line play and his ability to run the ball. And he's, he's close to healthy, if not healthy, but he's still... He's still out. I I don't quite get it because we brought Michael Penix, who has a decent chance at winning the Heisman, back like nine months after he tore his ACL against Maryland. Yeah, everyone's I, everyone's different in that aspect. So like you know, people heal differently. Like um, for example, um, I I fractured my my tibia. I think that it is what it is, the bottom bone of your uh, leg. And I tore like my deltoid on the right side of or the inside of my ankle, Tibular. and I had a um, I had a player um, on my team um, who played tight end and had the same injury, the exact same injury a week before me, and I was actually that happened first year or first game of the season, and I was actually healed and fully healed by the end of the season for the bowl game in San Francisco. I didn't play it, but he still 
took longer, even though we had the exact same injuries and uh, it happened before mine. So I, that's tough to say because you don't really know how, like, because once you heal physically, there's still a mental process, uh, yeah. process you got to get through as well. Part, yeah. And it, like you, you, the doctors can be telling you, hey, bro, you're physically good. And you go out there and run a route and you ain't plant on that leg in six, seven months. And you're like, damn, like, and then, and then you got to get over the, the injury in the first place with the overcompensation of using that one leg more than the injured leg. So That's then the you, you got other injuries that are pending because you need to fully get it together. And it, it, it's, a, it's a more of a mental than it is physical because I would say the Big Ten and in Indiana with my surgery, they give you the top, top, top doctors. Yeah. So that's that that I can understand your frustration yeah, on that it, one. But, it just uh, it just feels like we can't do nothing right since I've been here, um, and it's been that way for a long time. We really, can't, we really can't though. I think Shane Shane fresh what Shane was your freshman year y'all went like one in eleven. What year was that? You had one of those seasons. Hey, hey Sammy, don't do that to me. I'm just saying you you know his frustration. Don't do that though. <laughs> Oh, nah, don't do that. Uh, I can say I ain't been part of one of those teams, though. What was your What was your worst record? Actually, let me see. That might have been my worst record. Hold on, twenty four. Which is what? Cause I want to know. I want to know. Four and eight. <sighs> Y'all won one game. I man. ain't do. We ain't do no better. We didn't do no better than that. So I mean, it, it's a, it's a struggle for sure. So you know, Shane, go ahead share your your uh, your thoughts on that. I just want to win, bro. Not for real. I already Shane, already... twenty eleven, one in eleven. Come on, bro. Like, why you? What you got going on? You guys? I was just right making now? sure I was correct. Okay. <laughs> so you you want to you want right. to talk about that kind of frustration? Uh, okay. All right. My bad. Oh my bad. It ain't your fault. I mean, I was playing, wasn't I? Yeah. But I you think, wasn't I? Was sure, the offense know. good that year, or was it the defense no, that was a struggle? No, no. All we above. Was, we was hot garbage, bro. Hot. Hot garbage. Yeah, let's hear more about it. Like, what was what was the mood in the locker room? And <laughs> there you go. Here you go. Like, did there anyone just, like, quit on Here the team? Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, you froze. Right, again, he going to pop back in like he just been here. <laughs> he talking about... <laughs> no, no, no. It was bad though, bro. Like you, you start like you start getting to the games and like you just be wishing this over, bro. You looking at the clock, <laughs> you doing all type of stuff, bro, to get this game over with. And then we was getting thracks, bro. We was getting whooped. Yeah, no, I remember. I remember the, that Wisconsin game, so, like seventy two to. Bro, like we, you don't gotta like because you know this, I mean? this was some of the stuff that I was watching, not watching, but I was looking back on when I was starting to get some love from Indiana. So I was like, all right, let me go see where I'm at. I know everybody go here. Let me see yeah, what the you program. watched the wrong game. They they should have never like, t you should have never even turned their TV on. I was like, but hey, if it says anything, I chose I still chose Indiana over uh Purdue, if that says anything. So I mean, you know what I'm saying? But I, I will hope I will hope you would. <laughs> Zach, what were you gonna say to what you wanna hop into? Uh I was I was just alluding to the fact that that if if things if things don't don't go right the rest of the way, I think you and Shane like we we need to start using you know oh, our platform to cause yeah tell we, Indiana we, let us come down there we'll we'll be uh the the coaches on the sideline get I the juice fired up no, they not gonna listen to none of that no nah, they not but we gonna get some music bumping and we gonna be out there rocking they gonna feel that energy they be like oh that's some that's some real energy right there we still gonna be a 35 point underdog <laughs> we, we, we really 35 point underdog bro that's sick yeah yeah that's I mean, disgusting if, if if you really watched that game last week or uh, michigan minnesota whew, i can understand why if the they defense did, yeah. the defense if the defense can hold it down and and really ball out, I can say it'll be a close game. That's yeah. the only way because I don't know what to expect luck, from buddy. offense. I got I, like I want them to ball out, but if the luck, defense, buddy. bro, because 
I don't know really what what you can really run against him because he knows how to read defense. He knows when you try to disguise. He knows like he's he's good back there, JJ McCarthy. I actually used yeah. to train with his. Uh, Are you giving him too much credit though? Like, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, I, I'm just saying, bro. You 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 can understand. No, I feel it. you. I feel you. Don't don't shoot the messenger. No, I'm just you know. I mean, I trained with his father too back in the day. You know, when I was getting his getting daddy. From, okay. Yeah, his dad's a um, his dad's a um, uh, like a. I want to say professional, uh, uh. <laughs> but he's really a good trainer when it comes to quarterback play. Um, and he will always have like open sessions for the wide receivers and he begin his quarterbacks. Right. So I used to go out there. And, so, I mean, he has years and years and years of experience of training. That's why I'm so big on him in a sense. I'm just saying the defense like is going to have to have the time of the year. You like, you like Michigan, don't you? Do I like Michigan? No, I'm always going to ride or die with the Hoosiers. I got, look, I got them tattooed on me, so I can't be out here, you know. Yep, I was a dummy just like you. I got a tattoo, too. We're going to take the good, bad, and ugly. You know what I mean? Mm-mm, not yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? One day, one day, you know, I might run into uh, Mark Cuban, show him the IU stand. We, we solid then. You know what I mean? The whole, gonna, the, whole, not, the whole crew, not, I'm getting us he, all put he, on. He don't we care gonna, about that. Huh? He's he not going to care about that. We're going to put our Indiana football podcast on the map with this tattoo. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Now, now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We. We. Got to get him to to fund, to fund some of the, the ba- uh, football program, dude. Hey, what's yeah. the back name for Michigan, it's, Number two, I think that's it. Huh? Number two, the running back from Michigan. Oh, yeah. Play Corm. Yeah. Like that. He liked that. Oh, yeah. yeah. He he oh, yeah. reminds me of Mike Mike Hart. Mike Hart's their uh, running back coach. He came to uh, Indiana he, he for a year or two. He reminds me of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he got that dog in him, Shane. No. Whoa, wee boy. X-ray shows I got that dog in me. What you talking about? No, no. Go get a new one. You was at the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we kind of talked about the scouting report um, a bit, but... I, just to dive in more uh, into my thoughts, I think if we cover, it's a win. I think if our defense can show that we can hold our own, it's a win. You're talking about book. participation trophies, guys. Man, yeah, we're talking about you participation that. trophies. He at said this point. if we cover, that's a win for us. Yeah, huh? no, man. That's, that's, that's why we in this predicament we in right now. Bro, we yeah. What you think? I mean, keys, what you think the keys to to success is for that game though? Like, bro, I mean, don't run defense. doo-doo plays. Like, just I mean, get man. some sort of rhythm on offense. You know, whether it's quick it's screens, hard, it's or, hard to get a good rhythm on offense, bro. It's hard. I think it's gonna well, be very I know challenging it's hard, for, them. But for them. For them, for them, for our team right now. Yeah, for them, because I mean, they're going into Michigan. It's it's they, you know them boys undefeated. It's not gonna be quiet. It's not they don't they don't care that y'all just got rid of y'all coach and y'all still you know figure. No, they don't care about none of that. They about to no. try to run it up. What they're gonna try to break the record. So it's I think the biggest key is defense, and the yeah, defense, defense gotta be phenomenal. Offense got just gotta find a way to score, bro. They gotta find a way to score. Like, well, we are gonna see what's what up they, with the new playbook. All field I mean. goals like. He said he keeping know. the same the same plays that they thought was was good and the plays yeah, that they did have were good. It. But as an yeah. offensive coordinator, ain't you supposed to do that anyway? <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit. The good plays we saw was fire. Like what? I mean, they they put numbers on it, so we need that. We need all of that. Yeah. In the hey, day, in the know, day, the players gotta put that. See. Y'all know what I want to see. In the day, they gotta stand on balls. business. Straight go balls. Straight go yeah. balls. Yeah, we we uh they need to. What's the one play? I think it used to be called Purple One. And Purple it was one. so simple. You, I think, Shane, you were gone by this time. Um, Purple One, we would have two receivers to the, the, the strong side of the field and a single backside. Single backside got a, um, either a 10-yard stop or a 15-yard comeback. Mm-hmm. And the far receiver to the uh, strength of the field. He has either a go ball or he has a ten yard dropout reading the own coverage, so the receiver gets to make decision. And so it's, we like a, just, it's like a built in like it's, it's a built in hot route. Yeah, like hey, if I can beat him, I'm gone. If I can't, I'm dropping out. And we already don't, don't the, tell me that. I I'm, I think I can beat you every time. I'm never stopping. And you would you would get the ball thrown to you. 
But all the, at the same time, you see that cornerback playing zone, and he or he five six yards off. I'm running full speed at him. Huh. See, you strong enough for that, or like you you got you big body. I'm not doing. I'm trying to run past you. Stupid. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. But it's that simple, and it was so effective. It was that simple of a play call. And then the inside guy had a a, a middle read, and he either would bend it or he would sit it down. I, and, I, I bet you, I bet you, any amount of money they don't run this play we talking about. I mean, it's so simple, bro. Triple like option? if you look at my last season, that's oh, all that we option ran. Gotta be good. The option should have left with him. That option yeah. should be gone with him. It, it, it shouldn't be so? no more option. I hope. I, I, hate, mean, I hate the option, bro. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if we see the option. My my I'm my remote off. might Putting be going off. through the TV. I don't know, Putting man. I ain't gonna break my TV, but it's definitely you're gonna be able to tell early in the game if it's gonna be a hard fall game or if it's gonna be. Mm. I think game. first first three offensive possessions, you're gonna be able to tell what's up. I think we get whacked. <laughs> I'm hoping the defense. I'm hoping the defense. I think we get whacked, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I think we get whacked. Man, bro, we can't put points up, bro. So even if we get stopped, they still not gonna put no points up. Bro, imagine where we'd be at if we didn't run the ball twice up the middle against Louisville, punch it in the end zone, and then our defense makes a stand. We have a better it's record, but we, we, we have, have a better one, record, we, same we, offense. I about to say we had just one one more win. <laughs> yeah, but we'd have it against Louisville. But is Louisville ranked right now? Huh? How they should is be. They I think they just yeah, beat Notre like Dame. Yeah, they're like 13th in the country. Wait, they beat Notre Dame? Yeah, last week. Yeah. This past where, where weekend. Was where was I at? Where, where do I, what do I be doing? Yeah, no, nah, they was out there balling, too. We can hop into Word on Campus. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, I don't I even think, think it's a Word on Campus, to be honest. Yeah, no, nah, probably not at this point. There ain't no Word. Knowing the fans, how they, how it goes, if if it, if they're not above it's 500. It's automatic L to the fans right now, I promise you. Yeah, automatic I mean, good. L. Good thing it's a. I mean, if if it was a home game, I still think it would have got packed. Um, yeah, I with, remember with, with a whole bunch of yellow or what is go with <laughs> the green, no the green and green and no, or I ain't said nobody green. coming to see them. The the yellow and blue or whatever it is. No, nah, but I remember I remember um, since it's not, I don't think there's no t- too many people talking about this game on campus. I can yeah. give a little story what, about like when we about? played them and we should have we should have beat them. And I'm we, hoping we that. We should have won, too. They, uh, you talking about the same year? No. Um, oh, all right. My bad. My, yeah, actually, Shane, yeah, we were. Were we on the team you that had, year? You was wearing number 10, right? No, 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 no. I was one, Dan. Oh, okay. I was one, oh, Dan. So, yeah, yeah. No, he, was, he was gone. Yeah, Sammy had that stick on him. Yeah, Sarski. <laughs> and uh, we, we, was, uh, we were, I think, tied. I think we were tied the entire game. Or, yeah, we were tied the entire game, pretty much just going back and forth, back and forth. And it came down to an onside kick, pretty much. And we we did this onside kick. And y'all didn't get it. To, I think we were tied at this point. We did this onside kick to win the game. And I rushed. Oh, onside kick to win the game. Yeah, I think it was a cert. I think it was just a tie game, and we were just aggressive, if I'm remembering it right, because we were supposed to go down. And we could just kick the field goal to win the game, um, but we ended up going to overtime with these dudes. It didn't but work. The, I thought we got cheated, and there's photo evidence of this. If you go online and you type in like uh, like my name versus Michigan onside kick recover, ESPN took like a huge double photo. Pretty much, I got the onside kick, and they tried to say that. I didn't have possession of the ball while in bounds. So you then they reversed to, they, the call. They said they cheated. They they basically cheated. Yeah, and then they reversed the okay. call and said he did have possession of the ball, but he wasn't in bounds when I when I, when I caught it basically. And there's so much evidence against that we should that should have been our first dub. So I hate them. I want them to win, and I'm 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 hey, I'm mad that we're at this point. Yeah, I hate every team that I lost to because I can't talk trash to the people that I know that went to these schools. Yeah, you can. Yeah. What am I supposed to say? Shit, we lost, but we did our thing. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I can say that. Up. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> I'm trying but to put what you're talking about. But I don't that's my that. little story. That's my little story time, man, We how we got cheated by Michigan. Y'all can look it up if y'all don't believe me. Photo no, evidence. No, no, I'm tripping. I'm, I'm, I'm on Michigan State. <laughs> <laughs>
Shane, Shane you, you got any good stories against Michigan? Michigan? I just wish we would have won. That's that's a, that's my story. I'm trying to win. <laughs> yeah. That's a fucking... Oh, sorry. Whoa. That's a phenomenal story, Shane. Potty mouth. That is a phenomenal story. Potty mouth. It. You go wash your mouth off with soap. Shout out to the Big Ten for okay. uh, putting us in the big noon game. Um, mm -hmm. You know, shout out beyond the Big Ten. It's be um, our first and last one. We're trying. We're trying. We're doing our best over here. You know, it's it's challenging, and I know, uh, you know, speaking from myself and you guys, like, just gonna keep grinding it out, right? Yeah, and and um, since we're such b big believers of this game, I'm gonna say for everybody that you know likes and comments on uh the podcast it's on youtube um shane's gonna do donate a dollar to you guys and um you know as we pick up more wins we're gonna add that dollar we're gonna double it so shane shane's gonna take yeah. care of all this so we, we appreciate you guys no, for you was uh, born a liar no you was born a whole liar we appreciate you guys for tuning in to you know uh our uh -huh. indiana football podcast yes, we're going to be tuning in next week after we get this dub from Michigan. And, uh, oh, yeah, we're getting this dub. We're going to keep this thing rolling.